This is update number 11 for the Project Polish for 2015. I have a few polishes that I picked out in December of 2014. I've just been working on them throughout the year, trying to finish off as many as I can. And when I do finish them off, then I add in a replacement polish. So I have this little nail wheel here that shows all the polishes that I've went through through 2015 and I have one month left so I'm gonna do a final push to see if I can finish off any more polishes. Since the last update I've actually finished off one and it is the Formula X for Sephora. This is part of their electric line. This one is in Jolt and it looks like there's some down in the bottom there. I've added in a ton of thinner in this, trying to get that last little bit out, and I can't get it out. The way the bottle is shaped, it's just impossible for me to get out. So you can see my progress line right there from the last time, and the bottle completely tapers in. This one is being marked off as finished. There is a swatch of it right there. You can kind of see that purple shift that it has to it, but it definitely chipped really easily and I don't think I'll be purchasing any more of the Formula X polishes. I have this e.l.f. polish here. This one is in lilac. It's just a really small polish. It doesn't have much polish in the actual bottle, but that is where it was last time and now I'm down to that bottom line. I think I could probably finish this one off before the end of this project, so crossing my fingers on that one. This one actually looks really nice on the nails and it's a pretty opaque polish. That's it swatched right there. I could probably put down one coat if I'm really careful, but I usually put down two thin coats for this e.l.f. polish. Then I have this China Glaze. This one is from their neon line and it's in Turned Up Turquoise. I can't believe this one is still hanging on, but I have a very small mark right there, and this probably has one application left in here, so I need to get it used up ASAP, but that is a swatch of it there. It dries to kind of like a matte, velvety sort of finish. It's really pretty. It's extremely bright on the nails, too. I think I might toss this one on the toenails once or twice, and it'll probably be finished. Then there's the Maybelline... 60 second nail color. This one's in Racy Romance and I picked this one up on my honeymoon but it's actually what I have on my nails now. I need to repaint them but that is where I was last time and I swear I use this one a lot more. The bottle kind of flares out right in the middle so I think that's why it looks like I didn't use very much but I'm down at that very bottom mark right there and even though it's on my nails there is a swatch of it on the nail wheel and the more coats you put down the darker this polish gets. The first coat that you put down it's more of like a pinky red shade but you can see my nail compared to the swatch it actually looks a lot darker because I have three coats on my nails but anyway, there, there, anyway there's that one. I have one last polish here this one is from NYC this is their quick dry in a New York Minute polish. This one's in 270 Sidewalkers. I really love this polish. That is where I was last time and currently I'm almost about halfway through this bottle. Um, there is a swatch of that one right there. It's really pretty. You could probably get away with putting one coat, like one thick coat of this polish down, but I like to put down two thin coats. But anyway, there's that one. And then I have a cuticle oil that I tossed in a couple updates ago. I was right there last time. I'm almost, I'd say I'm almost about halfway through this. Um, the bottle gets a little bit wider towards the bottom and it's really skinny at the top. So it kind of offsets my progress lines a little bit. But this is the Deep Sea Cosmetics Nourishing Cuticle Oil. I really don't feel like this does much of anything, but I'm using it. So I'm not adding in any replacement polishes this time around just because I have plenty of polish to use up right now. And I think if I work on them, I could probably finish off two before the next update. So anyway, that is everything for my project polish update. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.